moved a lot of plywood, and plywood is very heavy. Um, a four by eight sheet of plywood, marine grade, is probably 80 to 100 pounds. Uh, very difficult. And it's great if you have two people. That's the safest way to move plywood. But a lot of the times, I don't have two people. So I thought I'd share with you a couple of methods that I use for moving plywood around. The first one is the simplest. It's a piece of rope that's 19 feet long, approximately. And what's nice about this is just leave it in the truck or in the car, and when you need to secure your loads down, you have it also with you. But let me just show you how I use it. I unwrap it. What I do is I take my two ends and I create what they call a sheet bend. I bend the one end over like that and I take the other end and I bring it through the, the loop. I bring it around and I bring it to the side of it. Can you see that? So it looks like that. And it's really easy to take it apart. No matter how much stress I put on it, I just break it back and it comes apart. Again, my two ends, I bend the one end over and I take the other end and I come up through it. Then I come around through the, the back of it like that and through to the side. So it looks like that. That's the sheet bend. And I simply just pick up the corner and stick my one end through it like that. And then I do it on the other end. Come up to the middle and I can carry it. Another method that I use, I really like this one because it fits in my bag without taking up any room, okay? And all I did was I took a dowel, I drilled two holes in it, okay? And from this bottom to the top of my dowel was 16 inches. That seems to work pretty well for me. And, you know, I, I want you to do these things without spending any money. You could use a broom handle. I had a dowel. I actually, this cost nothing. And this hook that I manufactured was from a fence. And I just cut it, put it in a vise, bent it around, and now that's what I use for my hook. And then just tie your little rope onto it. And again, I just lift up my edge, put it in the middle, and I can very easily carry plywood. This is a store-bought panel lift, and it works well also. We pick up the edge, put it right in the middle, and there you go. Again, just using scraps around the shop, I took a piece of plywood, three-quarter inches wide, and I ripped it at six and a half inches, okay? And then I top sawed it at 15. So six and a half by 15. Then I took a two by four and I cut it probably at, let's see here, one and a half inches. A slight bevel on it. I took my file and I rounded over everything so that it's soft to the, the grip. And I glued and screwed it together. And again, just pick up your panel. Put it right in the middle, and you'll have no trouble carrying your stuff around. Hope these tips up, and I'll catch you on the next one.